All right, Aries, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast for January 18th through the 24th. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology, very different from mainstream astrology, which if you're new to the channel, you'll want to check the description down below. All right, Aries, so this week, a lot going on astrologically, uh, pretty much every day of the week, as you can see here in the transit graph. Uh, it all starts here on Monday with your ruler of Mars trining up to Neptune. So right out of the gates, and you probably felt this the previous weekend, <clears throat> is this lowering of energy, but maybe in a good way, where it's easier to get things done and assert yourself and just move forward in general with uh, Mars. And this might be specifically with whatever it is you may have been uh, focused on or putting energy into the past couple months regarding your work or your di diet or daily activities or anything else that you consider your um, daily tasks or improvements of that sixth house. So pretty nice there, pretty good energy, but all in all, you should be feeling quite easy going. Now also here on Monday, Venus does square up to Jupiter and the North Node, which does come across as quite positive. So it is good to actualize your values here with this, really do things that you enjoy. Uh, Venus will be in your eighth house at this time. So uh, I think this first half of the week, you're probably enjoying more of the deeper aspects like you were these previous weeks and uh, enjoying those deeper connections, those bonds, and whatever else is really meaningful to you. So uh, continuing with that, but really seeing where you can expand and go into this new direction with your self-expression. The next shifts happening for this next two years is all about creativity, self-expression, and everything you consider your interests in life, which is that fifth house. Now here on Tuesday, Mercury does sextile up to Chiron, so there could be some healing taking place, especially in regards to your life path and um, your outlook on life, which is all going through this reflective process with Mercury still retrograde this week in your ninth house. So it's still good to be adaptive, still good to be open to change, um, especially with Mercury close to Pluto here this week. And uh, in that way, I think you can find a lot of healing taking place when you're wanting to learn more about your life path, rehash that, and maybe do some of that big picture thinking. Now on Wednesday, Mercury squares up to Uranus. So here, here particularly, keeping everything nice and grounded because you could be feeling a bit stimulated here on Wednesday, maybe with the mental, communicative, maybe even the routine, routine stuff. So take it nice and slow. Remember that Uranus is in your 12th house, helping you have more freedom when you are having faith and trust uh, through the divine process. All right, so here on Thursday, the sun shifts into your 10th house. So there is this shift this week where things are going more towards your career or your legacy or productive things. You'll find this to be more the case as we go into February, but certainly a shift here, and you can really utilize this attention and focus, I think, for anything in that uh, productive sense. So good shift there, good second half of the week to maybe start putting in some of that life force energy into your big picture plans. But you'll probably just notice that focus shifting anyways. Now here on Friday, Mercury does go over Pluto. So here in particular, it could be intense activities, maybe intense communications and whatnot. So again, being open to change is very important here, especially with Mercury retrograde. He's going to go station and then back over next week. So it's this, this whole January time period, lots of things changing with the way you communicate, with the way that you think about things, your routine, perhaps your work environment. So especially with this transit being open to adaptivity, flexibility, and clearing out any old energies that you might realize need to go with those things. Now, the week tops off on Saturday with the full moon in Cancer. So there is a lot of awareness coming in around home and family or maybe about your health and a lot of positive energy you can implement here to the other areas of your life. So this could be a culmination from the past six months, but, but in either case, uh, that awareness can be implemented. And with a square up to your ruler Mars, taking it nice and slow, again, there's these kind of baby steps, but uh, making those steps nonetheless and uh, moving forward with, I would say, certainly more of this um, establishing your daily activities, establishing your self-improvement, but how your health and maybe your home and family can be implemented into that here around Saturday. But like I said, it could also be a culmination if you've been involved with anything fourth house related for the past six months here. Now also on Saturday, we have the Jupiter North Node conjunction, very significant. This has been a very slow moving um, aspect and so it all culminates here at the end of the week during the weekend. So new insights around the life path more than likely um, and hear how you can focus these opportunities that you have been learning about, uh, learning about over the past six months in regards to these interests 
in regards to this creativity and the things you're passionate about. And that's all fuel to the fire for these new beginnings shaping up here for these next two years in that area. So it could be a significant day with that, but at the very least, just being open to seeing the bigger picture. And I think naturally there could be some insights or maybe even opportunities. Now, also on Saturday and at the end of the week, Venus will be shifting into your ninth house. So there is a transformation occurring when it comes to your relationships and it comes to your values, financial or otherwise. So you'll probably notice that shift by the weekend and it becomes much more expansive where I think you can enjoy uh, much more of the you know easier uh, adventurous spirits of life versus where it has been maybe a bit deeper you know not in a bad way necessarily but a shift of what you enjoy and I think here enjoying what's uh, possible and enjoying more of these opportunities that you are learning about with this Mercury retrograde. All right, Aries, so have a great week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next week. Take care.